This video is made possible by 343 Studios. You know who it is, the Nathan 343 here. And as by request, we have a comparison video. Comparison video, we are comparing three lights. They're basically mini movers uh, in some type. They're not as many as DJ Mike James's movers, but we have uh, a couple here. Actually, we actually probably need to move these here in order as they are big and work too little. And then I want to tell you the differences that I like and don't like, and we'll go from there. So we're going to start off with the 100 watt from Shed's lighting. Now, this is a 100 watt moving head. It has six prisms, I believe, three or six prisms. Don't quote me on that. I think it's three. It also has this color wheel around it, which is very awesome to the fact that you can DMX this and you can only run this if you want to. You don't have to run this. If you just want to use this for some cool coloring, you can shut this off and use the color deal. You can make it do all different kinds of cool, different little shows and effects. You can have it kind of strobe. You can have it kind of chase. You can have it solid colors. You can have it fade, just all kinds of cool stuff. It is a hundred watt. It is very bright. The coverage is very good. The, um, the build on it, it's a ABS hard, uh, plastic uh, like I said it does have fan in the back all these moving heads have fans on them so that aspect is um, is good um, on the on the front has an LCD screen the buttons are a little um, like I, I don't know at least on this one the buttons are a little I don't know I think it could be a little better buttons uh, I mean the buttons are okay. They do have a little plastic cover over them. The button is actually behind this. It does have a uh, screen um, I believe a full color screen on it as well uh, Maybe not full color full color. Uh, I can't remember but uh, it looks I mean super super good It's got awesome coverage. Like I said, it's got the prisms Build well the build well is here um, on the back side here power wise you have power in and power out. You have a fuse. What I do like about this is off and on switch um, that it has on here. So if you plug this in and you don't want it turning on, you flip that switch off and it won't turn on until you're ready for it to turn on. Then you flip that switch, wait a second for the power to go through and for the computer to tell it to come on and it comes on. You have DMX in and DMX out. You can use the uh, donor wireless DMX and plug into these and these will run just perfect. Um, it is, it doesn't have full 360. None of these have full, you know, 360 degree or, you know, continuous, which would be cool. But yeah, it does have some handles on the side that are take, take off if you want. You do have now two of these take these style clamps. One of these has the screw on ones. Of course you can put it on there, clamp it. It does clamp down very tight. Um, You've got some screws here on the bottom. You've got some good good hard rubber feet. I mean, you can't squeeze those. Those are hard. Gets it up enough so the air, like I said, it's, it weighs a little bit. I'm gonna be getting a scale hopefully so I can start wearing this stuff for you and let you guys know exactly how much it weighs uh, and, and all that. Um, it is, it says AC 100 by 240 volt at 50 to 60 Hertz. So you could easily put four of these on a truss, fly them and not have any problem with uh, um, powering another thing that's cool about it is the gobos that are in it fantastic gobos uh, they're very crisp very colored the, this has motorized focus so you're never ever gonna have to be like oh that's blurred I've got to go you know turn something to fix it, it has motorized focus so if you're wanting something you're not gonna have to reach out here and spin then um, then that's uh, it's one of the lights to go for and it has the cool you can get this without the color wash too if you, if you don't want it with the color wash so very cool there uh the one thing that i don't like about it does anybody know if these have a home because a lot of moving heads that i'm noticing will either be a lot to the back they'll flash a lot and they'll always come to the back or they're always shining straight up 
or if you have them hung, they're shining straight down and they'll do this and then they'll just spin like that. Like who wants, to, I mean, I understand it. I think they shouldn't come any more, like it, it should have a setting to tell you, hey, you have it hung, you have it standing up, you want this to work. Um, but it ought to have a deal to where you could set like a 180 so it doesn't come behind it to where you could set the tilt to where it doesn't come straight up or it doesn't go behind. Uh, we had some little mini movers from uh, Beat Topper and they had that feature. You could set it to like 580, 360 or 180 and you could also set your, ten, your pan and tilt or your tilt to be like 44, 36 or 55 degree tilt or something like that. I don't remember what it was. But, um, but yeah, that's really the only thing I really don't like about this one is that um, it, it you know, with, without a DMX controller, it will go behind you and do all kinds of stuff. So if, if a DJ, a mobile DJ is wanting to, you know, just put this up on a totem or set it up in their house and let it go, it's fine to let it go in your house like that. But if you're doing a wedding and you're setting these up on totems, which by far are great, are great to hang because of the gobos and the, the color wheel and all that, which like I said, eventually you'll probably get another one of these. We'll see. Um, but, but yeah, that's that's really the only thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't have like a, a program in it to, to make it, you know, there is some movers that have that. Now we're going to move to the 90 watt, 10 watts lower. Do I notice a difference? Um, a little, not as much. If, if you're thinking, oh man, I wonder if 10 more watts is going to be a little brighter. Uh, Maybe if you're staring right at it, or if you see, I mean, if you had them side by side and like a beam and you could see, you might be able to tell uh, the difference. But from a 100 watt to a 90 watt, I don't really feel a difference. Now, when this one warms up, it kind of goes into this little warming mode and it clicks. Uh, that's normal uh, from what I've heard. Uh, it makes a little like click, click, click a couple times. And apparently that's normal. Um, it does not have a full color screen on it it doesn't have um you know the um the screen the screen's just regular it's it's a blue background with white lettering uh the buttons on here again these are kind of cheap buttons i think they should do a little better with the buttons um, because i have now when you're if you have moving heads that have these style buttons they're great if you can protect them from getting something shoved into them and breaking because i had one on my other ones and the, I believe it was the menu button. Is it the menu or the enter button? They got pretty pleasant there. So be careful when you're doing that. So I think they should bump up their deals and put some better buttons on these. Um, other than that, this one on the back is a little different. It just has a uh, power in, which is an IEC. You got the DMX out and your DMX in, whichever those are, that's in and out. Um, we do have fans. Uh, this is a three prism light. We do have which I tell you, if, if you're flying these away from you and you're, they're not going to come and shine directly right at you, they're fine to fly. They don't have that, you know, area where you can keep it directly in front. Uh, so it would be fine. These would also look great on a totem. But if you are DMX in any of this stuff, you don't have to worry. You can tell it to just stay up front. But if you're just wanting to fly these and you're not wanting to, you know, master slave, you don't want to have to buy the $500 expensive ADJ software or Java show express or anything like that then uh, master slave is the way to go you just basically set this one to sound or auto come out of your out go to the next light and with the dmx go in so if that signal comes out of here and goes into the other light and it tells the computer what to do uh, all of these have reverse pan and tilt so if this one let me use the these two here for deals so if these two are going you know when they're when they're dmx together it's going around the other way you know, they can go like this, okay? But if you reverse the pan and tilt, or at least the pan, it's gonna do this. You know, where they're moving, they're gonna do the opposite, okay? If you reverse the tilt, they're gonna have one back here like this and one in the front. So, yeah, that's, that's the reverse pan and tilt aspect of it. So, again, all that I don't like is on this one is the... I mean, is there a difference between a 100 and a 90 watt? I mean, probably, I mean, to the naked eye, you're probably not gonna be able to tell. I mean, maybe, but uh, I mean, it has prisms. Uh, it seems to like the color white a lot. It has, you know, 
gobs of colors in here, but it seems to like the color white a lot. Uh, it's got some cool star effects in here, and every time it shows those star effects, it shows them in white. It never wants to show them in anything other than white. So the, the, the color selection on this should be, every gobo should be able to run through every single color, and it doesn't. I have used these a number of times. Uh, they do hold up well. Uh, they have a little handle right here on the side. It's not like a good grip handle where you can actually grip it. It's, I mean, they call this a handle. This isn't really a handle to me. It's just a way of locking the two bottom plates together. Uh, speaking of bottom plates, on this, uh, you can't use one of these. You have to use the ones that you have to unscrew here and here with these... Uh, Allen wrench screws, and then you have to screw them back in. So if you don't want them on there all the time, you gotta unscrew, unscrew, and screw them in. These you just twist, and they're on and on in seconds. So better bracketry with that one. It also has a loop right here where you can run a safety cable. So that's cool um, that they, you know, in case the, the, the brackets fail, they do want the safety cable to catch. And the thing with this, this one does not. So this one does not have a safety cable lock on it. This one does. So that's the bad thing too versus the 100 watt versus the 90. The 90 watt has a cable harness. I mean, you could loop it to the handles, I guess, or loop it around the, the clamp. But if the clamp fails, it's going to hold onto that clamp, but that light's going to fall. So, moving on. The newest to the DJ Fire Nathan 343 channel, and I love this thing. I love this thing to pieces. If I had all three of these sitting here in front of me and somebody was going to give me one of these or a set of these, right here, baby, we have these really awesome moving heads. I mean, they're, uh, the build quality feels a lot better on it, too. Um, but anyway, like I said, kind of didn't finish up the 90 watts there. Uh, I like them. Like I said, if you don't want to use, if you got a... DMX software, they're great. You can have them out front. If you want to fly them and don't have that, I mean, like I said, if, if you're if you're trying to figure out what to get, 90 versus 100 watt, there's not much of a difference in lighting. There is difference in gobos. This one does better with its coloring. I think every gobo gets a chance to see red, green, blue, purple, magenta, whatever colors that are in it, not just one picture only seeing white. Like it only lines up with the white color. It will rotate that color wheel and keep, you know, switch up the go post. So that one's a little better one there. It gets, it gets that, like I said, this one, I give it probably a seven, a seven out of, um, seven out of 10. Okay. Oh, back to the Shave Intimidator 260. Is it the 260? Well, that's what it says right there. This, and, and I will tell you the movements of these, that's some loose. Okay, see how loose that spins? Spin this one. It won't spin, it's a tighter spin. Okay, so that's one thing I like. It just won't sit there and spin. Like this one, you could push it and it moves. Really push it, it stops. So, yeah, I, I do like that aspect too. Okay, it is a little bit size, it is a little bit skinnier. It is, I mean, it's skinnier in the wide aspect and into the uh, depth. Height-wise, um, according to all of these, they're about the same. All of those are just about the same. I think that there's not much difference in height. All the mini movers are pretty much the same height. Now, the ones that DJ Mike James has, they're a little bit smaller. I mean, they might not be, you know, this way. They might just be a little bit short, but they pack a punch, okay? So this one is a 75 watt. Now, if I had to choose again wattage wise and I was like, oh man, 100 watts gonna be great. It's gonna be super bright. Well, at a wedding, super bright's not all exactly what you want. You're not going for the brightest light. You're just going for the effect. Um, this has good gobos in it as well. Has good pictures, has, um, you know, I, I like it. I think it's probably one of the better moving heads on the market right now. It's the, like, I, I've had the Chave uh, Line Dancer Worst lighting effect light I've ever seen. Um, what other? I've had the Chave Kenta FX. It was pretty good in a smaller room. You get into a bigger room and the decker's kind of washed out. 
Uh, the strobes really didn't show up all that good, and the lasers didn't show up. So I was like, man, Chauvet just sucking, because I got those stingers, the strobe on those things are bright, the, the dance lighting on it is really good. I mean, I mean, they go a long ways, and the lasers on that thing are super, super powerful, and you can see the design from a good long way. So I was like, man, I'm not gonna ever go back to Chauvet. And then these guys come out. Chauvet Intimidator 260, uh, 75 watt, and it has a very awesome feature. As you've seen in the actual video for this, it has totem mode. That's right, totem mode. So when you put this on a totem, or even flying it, if you don't want this thing going behind you, it won't go behind you. Put it in totem mode, and you put it for totem down. Uh, so that it's up on totem, it's facing down. Even when you're flying it upside down, like so, as you notice that head also didn't drop, you want totem down because you want this to be down. And it just kind of stays level, okay? So there's that aspect. It's a small base. It's not very heavy. It's built real well. All the gears are tight. Now a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't have motorized focus. Oh, yes, it does. This is not the focus. This is to make the beam angles tighter so that it will shoot further. So if you if you got a 100-foot hull and you're wanting this to hit the back wall, then you go out there, put this maybe in DMX mode or just a standalone mode with a DMX day, and you turn that and you focus it so it hits that back window or back wall. So that's what that is. That has nothing to do with the focus. There is a motorized focus in here. I mean, tons of colors. The colors are crisp. The fans are quiet. One thing I will say on this, uh, this has probably got the loudest fan uh, out of all of them. This has a medium fan. I mean, it's... It's nothing bad because when you're in a room and you got a lot of music going, you're not going to hear the fans. But if you're in a quiet room and they're doing a, uh, like a, somebody's talking about the bride and groom, you kind of want that stuff to be quiet, but you do want, I mean, especially if you're spotlighting somebody, which these would make great little spotlights. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Chave uh, on the back. Again, power in, power out. DMX out, DMX in. You have a fuse. And um, I think that's about it. You got some good screws on here. Uh, this does have a full color LCD screen on it. Uh, full color, the buttons are, they're a little better than what's on these. Uh, these you can tell feel flimsy. I mean, it doesn't take much. I can move that around. These buttons, you cannot, I cannot take my finger and wiggle the button around. These are stationary, they will not move. I can take this button here and move it around in a little circle and it's a little hole. Now, price-wise, this runs about $300, $299. Price-wise, this one, this is 100 watt. Price-wise for this one, runs about $225 to $300. Uh, when they first come out, they were about or $270. I think they're roughly around $250 now. You can get a set of these for like $400, uh, at least a set of two. These are running about $750 bucks for one. What would I recommend? Well... Depends on what you're looking for. If you're someone that's just having a party at home, grab one of these. If you're someone that wants, you know, stars and, and a little bit, you know, you want, you don't want power con, you want IEC, go with the 90 watt. Uh, if you're not too into having the, you know, ring around there and you don't need that, um, you know, they do make this here in a six prism too, like that. Um, like I said, so far this one, I mean, if I was throwing a party at home and I had two of each one of these, which I do have two of these, um, I would probably grab these and just set them up on some tables and, and let them do their thing. Because the, the gobos in them are really good, I'd probably leave those in the box. Um, but, uh, you know, these also do great too for parties, but these are my pride and joys. These are really cool with the color wash on them if I'm just throwing a little home party. and These are more or less my wedding, wedding lighting for totems, which we've got something else coming for the trust that's behind this wall right here. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Also, coming up uh, the week after March 12th, be watching my DJ Fire channel for an awesome exclusive St. Patty's Day party gig log. Uh, we are throwing a huge party at a friend's house. Uh, me and DJ Mike James are combining our setups together and are going to throw a huge, huge party. There's going to be lots of information there on equipment, lots of information on setup, time lapse, uh, 
tech talk, all kinds of awesome stuff. Probably will be a little bit longer than normal video. We'll both be putting videos out on our channels. We're running two amplifiers. We're running six subs, six top main speakers. We are running um, quite a bit of lighting. We're running these. We're running the uh, park hands I've got. We're running the uh, probably these um, because I don't have but one of these or else I'd run these. Um, lots of awesome stuff there. Strobe lights. I've got some cool, awesome programming done to the park hands. Uh, we're using the Wash Hex uh, 3, I guess you would call it, from Chave. Uh, we're using uh, the Bean Bars, which uh, Bean Bar video is in process for getting the final review. I have started that video. If you're curious on how those are doing, uh, those will be out probably. I've got a lot of editing to do because I've got a lot of information in that video. Uh, probably, hopefully, third week of March is what I'm hoping. Uh, I want to get a little bit of footage at Clint's in a, in a bigger room, too, uh, and how that looks with other lighting. I know I've got a, other weddings I've used it for, but I kind of want to see how things look on the new truss and add that into the video. So, anyway, like I said, this has totem mode. I really do like this one a lot. It's smaller. It costs more, but I think that you get more bang for your buck with this one than you're going to have to do with this one. This is going to be a lot of headaches. Um, it might be more expensive, but I think I think Chavez has came out on the end. This gets a 10 out of 10. So uh, I think it's it's very cool light. Uh, it is a 75. Hope this answered some questions for you and hope it made it easier for you to make your choice. Again, all these links to all these will be in the description below. If you have any certain questions or would like to see any type of certain product review videos, uh, on this channel or any comparison videos. It looks like the comparison videos are making an impact out there. People are loving them and getting information of what I think and what I would recommend. So if there's anything out there you guys have questions about, comments about, drop those in the comment section below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this uh, 90 watt, 100 watt, and 75 watt comparison video. It was requested somebody wanted to see a comparison with all three of these movers uh, and that uh, aspect. So. Um, if there's any type of DJ equipment you want me to review, drop it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Thank you for watching again. See you later. Peace.